little angels. Come on in. Come in. I'm so happy that you're here. I love when you visit. So, I thought we'd do something fun today. Um, I've done a few different videos the last day or so. I hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween video. Um, I took a chance and it's a role play. It was a lot of fun to do, uh, but I did lose a few <laughs> subscribers, I think, over it. But you know what? Sometimes I like to have fun and I'm going to do role plays at, ha at Christmas time too. I have a great um, Santa's helper one. But I hope you like it. And I will go back to my normal stuff too, don't worry. Um, I also posted some knitting projects because people have been asking me about it. So I just posted some finished products. Um, maybe I'll do one where I'm actually knitting and go more in depth, but we'll see. And I thought we'd do everyone's favorite topic today, chocolate. <laughs> I went to the store and was looking at all the different kinds of candies and chocolates and things. And I was getting some strange looks from people because of course I was ASMRing them. I was squeezing, I was scratching, I was tapping, giving a little shake. I was getting looks. So I just brought a whole bunch home with me. And yes, I'm wearing my heart rings today. I just fancied them. They just feel fun, you know? These are the ones that I got at Timu and I think they were like $2. So I fully expect my fingers to turn green, but for now, I like them. And just to let everyone know, if you're new, thanks for giving me a chance. I really appreciate it. And feel free to comment. I love the comments, guys. It helps keep us connected. And I will always try to reply back. Like it, share it, definitely subscribe, please. And those of you that are returning in, I see you, I know you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. So, and oh yeah, one more thing. I am still doing the card exchange, whether it's postcard or holiday card. I celebrate Christmas, but feel free to send me any card that you celebrate and I'll send you one back, okay? So let's get, oh, PO Box is in the description. So let's get started, shall we? So because it's Halloween, I thought we'd start with peeps. And instead of the chicks or the ducks, they're pumpkins. I bought them for my daughter because I thought they were pumpkin flavored. They're not. But oh yeah, was I getting looks at the store for these ones. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I love that they all have different expressions. They're just so much fun, you know? So those are the peeps. Oh, this, this is Reese's. My husband loves Reese's peanut butter cups. So my poor, thank goodness my daughter didn't. So every Halloween he got them all. I like Reese's pieces. And these ones are chocolate. They had pretzel and caramel. I've had the caramel, it's really good. Um, but I like this one. I love the sound it makes. one's getting open today. <laughs> now, I don't know about any other place. Here in um, Canada, we have something called Carnaby Street, and I find them almost exclusively at Shoppers Drug Mart. They only come out with the chocolate bars once in a while. Their milk chocolate bar is the best chocolate I've ever had, bar none. But they also make different things. Now, these are the milk chocolate pumpkins. Now, personally, I like to stick these in the fridge or the freezer, and then it just seems to last longer. But I like my chocolate cold, and I know chocolate connoisseurs are like, never, 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 but I do. I'm one of those weird people. I like them cold. Okay. What else? Where is it? There we go. 
and you can't have chocolate without the coins. Again, these are Carnaby Street, and again, I freeze these, <laughs> but I love these because they're eyeballs and ghosts and skulls and pumpkins. These were another one I got strange looks for because I was literally going like this. But I just think they sound great. They taste good too. Tell me your favorite chocolates. I'd love to know. I'll tell you who I envy right now. All my friends in the UK. All you viewers from the UK, I envy you. Because your Cadbury chocolate and our Cadbury chocolate are not the same. I was lucky enough, my friend visited England and brought me home dots, I think they're called. Buttons, buttons. Oh my gosh, they're good. That chocolate is nothing like our Cadbury. Nothing. And what else do we have? Coffee crisp pops. So these are just little bites, little balls of them. And again, frozen is good. In our fridge, the vegetable crisper is very cold. Um, if you look at my vegetable crisper, there's usually some chocolate at the very back for me. Now this one I hadn't seen before, that's why I picked it up. But they also had Kit Kat. I was going to try to do like a candy store role play, but then I got worried. <laughs> so here is the one I forgot to include in the role play when, you know, um, Serenity puts in a small chocolate, but you take out your favorite. This is the Laura Secord French Mint. And it is huge. French Mint is a flavor I like. What I like is I don't like a lot of it at once. So, like if this was toasted almond, it'd be gone. <laughs> but I would probably only eat three squares of it at a time. And there's Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, so it's 40 squares. So that should last quite some time. But I just love the packaging. I love the feel of it. I love the sound of it. Now this one I actually got from my husband and because I just thought it was wild. Again, it's Carnaby Street. It's eyeballs filled with caramel. Can you think of anything grosser than that? <laughs> biting into an eyeball and half the caramel? But it's very Halloween and I know him. He'll take these to work. But, and they're peanut free as well. So. Plus, I gotta tell you, I love this shade of purple. This is like a violet and ombre's down, but I love that shade of purple. Then, this isn't chocolate, but it is kind of food related. <laughs> Baby Angel came home and she had bought me something because I like my Coke Zero and I like my Cherry Coke. But she said, here you go. And I thought, oh, that's so cool. Thank you, little bottles. This will be great. I can definitely do things on my channel with them. Let me see if I can do it now. They're lip balms, guys. Like, how cool is that? This is the Cherry Coke, and it smells exactly like Cherry Coke. I wonder if it tastes. Yeah, it does. 
a little on the sweet side, but. And then this one is the regular Coke. And it's a little darker. That's yummy. That's yummy. <laughs> and I just think they're cool. I'll probably just keep them up here. And then, um, because I used to tell her how we all, back in the day, Lip Smacker was a big thing. And we didn't have all these flavors either, guys. Um, but she found this tin of Lip Smackers for me. Um, I think it's their 50th anniversary or something. I think that's what that says. So let's open it. Ooh! I haven't opened it. I was waiting for you guys. So there's vanilla Coke, cherry Coke, and regular Coke lip smacker, which I think are great because in the winter, my lips get so dry and, but not dry enough to need like a chapstick or a Blistex, just something. So these will be perfect and I can keep them in my purse or my pocket. Mostly I always keep one in my coat pocket and one in my purse. So yeah, that'll be fun. And this tin will definitely come in handy, you guys. I will be using that. Um, the other reason I really like this, besides the fact that there's a puffin up there, y'all can say it's a penguin, it's a puffin, um, but they have the, the polar bears and I love the Coca-Cola polar bears. I really do. Um, I was always a Pepsi girl before, um, but I switched over to Coke Zero because I can't drink Diet Pop. But Coke Zero I know is a Diet Pop, but um, it doesn't have that aspartame taste. So, and it doesn't give me headaches. But I just, I think this is such a cool tin. And then the other thing, I don't know if you guys are getting this, so I thought I would show it to you. I mean, seriously, chocolate and Sephora, what goes better? I ended up getting this great booklet. The Sephora Give Something Beautiful. 80 plus gift ideas. Find gorgeous gifts at every price. So I thought maybe we could look at it together. We won't go through every single page. Maybe we will. So this page is only at Sephora. And we've got all kinds of things. Oh, and it's all um, the Charlotte Tilbury, Mac, the K18. I'm trying to read who this is. Peter Thomas Roth. I have to be honest, guys, haven't heard. So if you know that one, let me know. And Glossier. So there's the pictures. And on this side, we have Rare Beauty, Tatcha. Of course, my glasses aren't here. Um, Nest New York, again, haven't heard of it. Huda Beauty, I've heard of them. I have lots of Huda Beauty. And I have to say, I looked back and I can't find the comment. Um, somebody recommended the pistachio perfume at Sephora by, um, I think it's Cooley, Cooley, anyways. I did end up getting a small one. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm telling you, I want to bathe in that stuff. It smells so good. So this one is the Sol du Janeiro. Okay. Um, the people who make bum bum cream. That's how I know that one. And Kayali. Yeah, it's right here. I don't see the pistachio, but that's the brand for sure. And I actually got it in a small... Um, it was a mini roller. No, it's a spray, but it's mini size. And it came with a Huda Beauty lip gloss. So it was a really good deal. Um, the House Lab by Lady Gaga. I actually really like her products, guys. I really do. And then on this side, it's trending on social. The Patrick Ta, the Sephora favorites. Okay, guys, if you want to try a new makeup, but you don't want to put that much, because some of them are really pricey. And you know what I say about the minis? Always go for the minis first. When Sephora does their Sephora favorites, you get to try all kinds. Um, I, Linger, the lip people, that's where I found mine originally. So yeah, always check out those, especially after the holidays, sometimes they go on sale. 
um, the glow recipe. My daughter just adores that. Um, the shark beauty, the, I'm sorry, I can't spend that much money on a blow dryer. Well, I don't need to, right? I just stand in front of a fan, my hair is dry. Um, my daughter, however, <laughs> and the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Okay, her stuff is stunning and it's beautiful. Like it lasts forever. And then we have the clean at Sephora. Look at this. I wish they would sell these. I hope they sell these because that is too cute for words, all right? Um, but it's the Live Tinted, the Ilia, the Peace Out, the Drunk Elephant. I love all of these. I love the Peace Out, the acne patches. They work amazingly well, I have to tell you. And then on this side, we have Biagio. I love Biagio. That little bottle that has the rose in it. It's so pretty. Like, I would use that just as decor, really. First Aid Beauty. Okay, my husband has terribly chapped hands. And we've tried everything. Um, he was using O'Keeffe's for a while. That was working. I got this in a sample pack. I forced him to try it. And he loves it. Absolutely loves it. And no more chapped hands. Clean Reserve. This is a very good product, you guys. I, I like them very much. Um, Dr. Denning's Gross Skin Care. Okay, that's an unfortunate last name for skincare. But anyways, it's very expensive. That's all we know about it. Oh, my favorites. The advent calendars. Now, I already told you guys I'm making my own this year for everybody. But, um, yeah, but these are so pricey. That's why, like, after the holidays, you can get them for a very good price. Um, usually, like, there's votive candles. I'm dying for this one. Um... But did you see the price of the MAC advent calendar? Okay, I love MAC product too. Well, some of them. But $325 for an advent calendar? That's just my opinion. I'm not sponsored, obviously. Um, but Sephora has their own. At, I think it's $66. And there's a Sephora Favorites for $140. But just looking at it, I'm like, I want that candle. Uh, this is just the gift card page. You don't really want to see that, do you? Okay. This is gifts under $35. Now we're talking my language. There's, there's the Laniche. Laniche. Okay. The Caldely. Oh my gosh, is it on there? Okay, this stuff here, the facial, the cleanser that you put on, and it's... I put that thing on. I literally could see the oil coming out. It was fabulous i absolutely love that i haven't tried any of this the say if anyone has let me know please and then the anastasia beverly hills i've already told you guys my opinion of that one sorry and then this one is gifts under 50 which means they're all 49.99 <laughs> i'm sorry i'm jaded so this one is the morph or morphe and i'm wrong it's 39 dollars and that's a great eyeshadow palette. Huh, eyeshadow. Hmm. Um, the Sephora Collection Holiday Cleanup Set. Stain Set. So this is the lip stains. I'm not partial to lip stains. They dry out my lips. Benefit. And that's 47 and that's 48. And the Tarte is 42. So I was close. I was close. And then this page is gifts under $75. I, I'm not getting any. Anyways, there's Glow Recipe. The Laura Mercier, which I do like Laura, Laura Mercier. Urban Decay. Oh, the Urban Decay is the stay the all-nighter. I use this. All. But guys, just buy the mini. It lasts forever. It really does. You don't need a lot of it. And then there's... Enchanted Beauty, I don't know, but it's seriously $69 for beauty blenders? Guys, go to your local drugstore, seriously, or Walmart. Youth to the People, I do use Youth to the People. I absolutely love the toner. I just, I love it. I really do. Now this page is First Aid Beauty, Versace, Living Proof, Hourglass, 
and milk makeup now there's not a product there that i've used however i have heard amazing things about them especially milk makeup um if any of you follow the youtuber johnny ross he adores milk makeup uh, my daughter loves Versace and I do like getting mini perfumes to try out. Uh, First Day Beauty I've already talked about and Living Proof. Um, my daughter actually uses Living Proof minis. I taught her well. Gifts under $100. Okay, this is for the people who date. <laughs> um, so there's It Cosmetics, Makeup by Mario. I've been hearing a lot about Makeup by Mario, but I haven't actually used any of it myself. So please let me know what you guys think. Um, Kiritasi. Okay. Kiritasi products are unbelievably expensive. However, they are amazing. They are incredible products. I got some as a gift once. And this is the Gucci Trio of perfumes. And on this side, let's see. We have Dr. Jart, Skin Fix, which includes a refill. Well, for that price, I should hope so. Pharmacy, I do like pharmacy. I really do. Um, Fresh and the Bum Bum Cream People. Some of these products are great. I'm sure they're all great. It's just, they out of my price range. And this one is called Wrap Up the Icons. So we've got Tatcha, comes with Furikachi gift wrapping. It is a beautiful gift wrapping, but the Dyson Air Wrap Holiday Set. I'm sorry. $800? Okay, unless you're a hair model, $800? I'm not saying if it showed up on my door, I wouldn't use it, but $800? I'm sorry, I still can't get past this. Okay. Yeah, I should think it's an icon. And the Sephora Collection brushes, that's a lot. 128 for brushes, I don't care, that's too much. Yves Saint Laurent, Lancome, Dior. I'm not judging anybody that spends money on this. I'm really not. I shouldn't have said that about the, the blow dryer because I'm not judging $800. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> and they're advertising it like it's a special. Yves Saint Laurent, Jean Malone, Yves Saint Laurent, Giorgio Armani, Fenty Beauty, and Tom Ford. Okay, I'm sorry. Tom Ford, who are you? Your stuff is incredibly expensive. Incredibly expensive. And I don't get it. I really don't. But that's just me. Now my favorite section, you guys. Stocking stuffers. So, this is where you get to try different brands at a far less price. And you're not committed. And if you're like me and you alternate blushes or you alternate your lipsticks, the minis can last quite a while. So this one is Valentino. Um, yeah, 128, no, not for stocking stuffers. Sephora collection, it looks like it's a bunch of different masks for $34. That's very reasonable because you can take those masks and put them in different stockings, right? And then there's NARS. Um, the Afterglow, the blush, the lip gloss, that's not bad. Sephora favorites are the Deluxe Perfume Samples. Great way to try scents, and you can also go in on it with someone. So say there's two or three brands you like, two or three your friend likes, go in on it together, you know? And this one is the Lineage Sleeping. Um, they're very good. They really are good products. My all-time favorite, you know that Moroccan oil? The hair and body mist, I love this stuff. And the oil, when it first came out, I remember thinking, I'm not putting oil in my hair, I don't want greasy hair. Oh my gosh, it, my hair was so healthy, so healthy. And then there's Summer Fridays. I use Summer Fridays, I quite like it. Too Faced and The Ordinary. I actually just got a duo from 
the ordinary I think it was $27 but it's a lash and brow duo so I'm gonna start using it November 1st I wanted to set a date and then December 1st kind of look at where I've come from and see if it works so this is they're just talking about all of the different sales you can get and it's the Sephora collection is 30% off. This is here in Canada. I don't know if it's anywhere else. Rouge people get 20% um, off and first access. VIB gets 15% off and the insiders get 10%. And in the stores, mention at checkout, time to save or online. And all of these offers end November the 6th. So there you go my chocolate and sephora video i hope you guys liked it and i will see you later on i'm hoping to do one this evening to help you sleep so guys as always i love you i value you i honor you and i'm so very very glad that you were born